And Japan wasted little time to hit back. Top Japanese officials and the country's ruling party lawmakers were more straightforward on their feelings regarding the 2015 bilateral agreement on the wartime sexual slavery issue. They spoke with one voice, saying a renegotiation is out of the question. Woo Jung Hee has more on that. The reactions by Japan's ruling party lawmakers were far from restraint. At a government foreign affairs meeting on Thursday, Hiroshi Yamada of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party said there can never be a renegotiation on the Korea Japan Agreement on Comfort Women. He added that Japan must stick to its stance and get South Korea to implement the deal even after 100 or 200 years. Another lawmaker, Yoshiaki Harada, argued that Tokyo should not bow and ask Seoul to abide by the deal, but rather has to demand that it obeys the agreement. The responses struck a chord with others at the meeting. The director of Asian Affairs at Tokyo's Foreign Ministry, Kenji Kanasugi, who represented the Japanese government, echoed the sentiment saying a renegotiation is out of the question. Some argue taking advantage of the U.S. influence on South Korea. They want Japan to reiterate the crucial nature of the deal to the U.S. and have Washington pressure Seoul to implement it as is. The negative sentiment also spread to the issue of North Korea. The ruling party lawmaker said that if Seoul relies heavily on an appeasement policy toward the North, this could go against the international tide of stepping up pressure on the belligerent North Korean regime. The ruling party lawmakers said that if Seoul relies heavily on an appeasement policy toward the North, this could go against the international tide of stepping up pressure on a belligerent North Korean regime. Speaking at the parliament, Foreign Minister Fumio Kishida asserted that talks for talks sake with North Korea is meaningless and that the new Moon Jae-in administration ought to pressure Pyongyang. Experts say Tokyo's reaction had been anticipated prior to Korea's presidential election, and such discontent is now coming to a head. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.